Hi, my name is Adrian Pike and I'm the Managing Partner here at Lucas Meadow. Today's session is on data enrichment. This is the second in our three-part data series. If you haven't seen the cost of bad data, you can access it through the tiny URL displayed, tinyurl.com forward slash Lucas Meadow data. Let's set a bit of background here. The reality is that today's consumer has an unlimited amount of information that's available to them, an even shorter attention span and higher expectations more so than ever before. We need to engage with our potential customers at the right time, through the right media, with the right message if we want any chance of building a successful and long-term relationship with them. Data enrichment can help us with this. It can help increase your understanding of your customers and your prospects. It will help identify new target markets for your existing and future products. It will help increase the response rates of your campaigns, as well as reduce the cost and wastage within your campaigns. It will help add value to your strategic media planning, as well as adding value to your customer relationship management. What do we know about your current network? The foundation, as we've mentioned already, to any engagement activity is knowing your target audience. What better place to start than looking at your current customers? We can look at and find out what, uh, what traits and similarities there are amongst them. Is it their age, their gender, their family profile, their salary range? This profile helps to support both the current understanding you have of your customers, but also identify the key characteristics that can in turn be matched to find profiles of people who are not currently customers of yours. Lucas Meadow will action this first step through the info-based lifestyle universe. What is the InfoBase Lifestyle Universe? Well, the IRU offers over 38 million marketable individuals in the UK. It contains a combination of lifestyle, behavioural and financial data. The IRU has been created over the last 40 years and is solely owned by Axiom. Lucas Meadow is a partner of Axiom and they've enabled us to leverage this invaluable insight for us to use when we're working with you, our customers. The IOU enrichment. So there are over 70 variables that can be used to enrich your database. As you can see, here's a snapshot of the high level. Gender, marital status, age, number of children, uh, their hobbies, financial data. These are just a few that we can get access to. How does the enrichment process work? Well, here's an example with Client X. They provided us with a database of nearly 12,000 customers. We carried out the matching process through IOU, and we found that there was a match rate of about 9,600 records. So we had about an 80% match rate. This means that the analysis that we carry out, uh, we can feel pretty confident that it's a very good reflection of the customer and prospect, future prospects for this particular client. When we generate um, an IOU report, it'll look something like this, this page here. So you can see we've got three fields outlined, gender, marital status, and age, and all the sub-variables that sit off the bottom of it. Um, the easiest way of interpreting this, this report is by looking at the graph on the right-hand side next to each field. Anything that uh, leans more to the right and is purple means that your database or the client's database has more records that look like this in it. Anything that has uh, the blue bar, which is more leaning to the left, means that your data database has less of this kind of field in it compared to the ILU. So straight away, we can look at this, this uh, example through these three fields, and we can see that there are more men who are married in their middle ages. So clearly, if we're going to do a blanket campaign to this database, we've got more chance of success if we, may, uh, if we do a campaign to men who are married in their mid-40s, certainly more so than females who are single in their early tw 20s. Know your network, know the opportunity. Once we know what your audience looks like, we can identify and target new prospects that look the same. Beyond this, um, there are people that don't match your current pro prospect uh, database at the moment. Um, and customer database at the moment. So during this process, we'll try to discover areas that may be contributing to why these profiles are not currently customers of yours, which will then be the foundations for future campaign options. The reporting will also uh, will, will, will create these uh, general sort of prospect pool scenarios. And you might have several different prospect pools for, for a campaign. But this gives the high level kind of do's and don'ts for when we're doing this campaign. We can see on the left hand side what the prospect pool profile tends to look like. They tend to be, in this case, onliners, directors, and they're extremely li likely to appreciate cultural pursuits. As you can see, they have the interest in stocks and shares, fine food, and antiques. This prospect pool also tends not to be like what we have on the right hand side 18 to 24, non earning, household with highly unemployed. Uh, they do shopping by mail order, 
This again helps us build up these profiles of the ways that we should and shouldn't be engaging with them. So if you know this level of information about your existing customers and prospects, wouldn't it be easy for you to decide the best message, the best time and the best media to connect with them? What are your next steps? Contact us. We can help you carry out an IOU assessment. It's quick, it's easy, it's very, very cost effective. This in itself is invaluable to you as a business. We'll identify key variables that will also assist your company. We can align it to your engagement strategy and we can help you plan your data enrichment path. Thank you once again for your time. I hope this has been useful and that you found out a bit more information around data enrichment that you didn't know before. For further information, please contact us through the normal methods uh, through lucasmeadow.com. You can email myself directly at adrian at lucasmeadow.com or you can contact us through Skype or Twitter at lucasmeadow. Thanks again for your time.